Hi everyone, Sandra here from the Schwoven's Nest. Today I want to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to paint buffalo plaid. This is a freehand method that doesn't require any taping. I've got two ornaments from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using acrylic paint in the colors of white, silver, and black. You'll be able to apply this technique to any three colors of paint that you want to do for your buffalo plaid project. I'm going to remove the stem first and that's going to make it really easy for me to stick that ornament on my finger. I'm going to start off by painting a base coat of white on the ornament. If you want to do a lot of these ornaments, you could save some money by painting over some of the ornaments you're no longer using. Using the next darkest color, I'm going to paint horizontal stripes. I'm adding some of the silver gray into the white to get a light gray. This will be the color of the first stripe. For this step, which is step two, I'm going to be using a smaller brush. This stripe is going to go across the ornament, so it's going to be the horizontal stripe. So I'm going to start at one section and then just spin the ornament around. And it's really easy when you're holding it in your hand because then you can spin it in your hand without actually moving the brush. Don't be afraid if your lines are a little bit wiggly around the edge, you can easily just take your paintbrush and clean them up. The best thing to do is to take your time, go slowly, and if you need to lift up the brush so you can adjust the position of your hand, it's not a problem. You can simply just lay the brush down where you left off and continue. Now that I'm using black, I'm going to put the stripe in the opposite direction, start from the top and work my way vertically down to the bottom of the ornament. As shown here, I do change the direction of my brush to make it easier to get a straight line. Remembering how the buffalo technique works is a little tricky to start with, but once you've done it a few times, you'll remember how it works. I would recommend doing it on paper to start and just practicing so you get all the steps down and then you can go ahead and move on to your projects. When I do buffalo plaid, I don't worry about getting 100% coverage because I want it to be more distressed and rustic and sometimes on my wood pieces, I'll even sand some of it off. This is the last step. It's step four and I'm taking the second color that I used, which is the silver gray. And then where the white squares are, right next to those are the black squares. And I'm going to cover those black squares with the gray paint. And that will give me my buffalo check design. Complete the bottom by painting one gray square in the center. If you are following along with me, you just created a buffalo plaid ornament. You should be very proud of yourself.
This next project is using these espresso cups that I picked up at my Dollarama and they're small size and they're paper cups but they have a really nice texture to them. Using the same silver gray paint I'm going to give them two coats and they're going to end up looking like little galvanized buckets. I really love how my bottle brush trees turned out with the little white buckets from Dollar Tree. So I will link that video in the description box below if you want to go check that out. But when I saw these little cups at the dollar store, I thought they would make really sweet galvanized buckets. I'm also going to paint this little lip at the top. I love the way this little bucket turned out. It really looks authentic. Now I'm taking a piece of foam core board and I'm cutting it into a rough circle. And basically what I want to be able to do is push it partially down into the cup. So when I set the tree in, you don't see the white plastic part of the tree. You only see the branches. Then I'm just gonna use some hot glue and stick the tree down into the bucket. I really like the way this turned out, so stay tuned, I've got a couple more options for you. Aren't these just the cutest little glasses you've ever seen? Tiny little red Solo cups. I couldn't resist to pick these up. They were in the same area as the espresso cups. And what I'm gonna do with this one is something a little bit different. I'm gonna paint him black first because black will cover up the red color. Now if you wanted to have a little red bucket for your tree that's great. Red really isn't my color for this season so I'm going to paint him black and then give him a little bit of dry brushing with some of the silver. I'm going to repeat the same process with the foam core board, put it in so it sits about halfway down and I'm going to wedge it in nicely and then glue in a little green tree. For this last bottle brush tree idea, I'm also using the espresso cup. I've got this wood piece that is an expandable fence. It was at my Dollarama in the summertime and I've been using these pieces of wood for all sorts of different projects. So I'm just going to eyeball and measure out the length of sticks that I need and using my wire snips, I'm just going to trim off enough of them so I can glue them all the way around. I've completed cutting all of the sticks that I need and I've started gluing them with some hot glue right onto the cup. Now be careful because the inside of the cup does get a little hot so my hand that is inside the cup is getting a little warm but it's not coming through so I'm not experiencing any burns. I'm going to continue putting the sticks on until I've completed around the entire cup. When I got to just about the end, I noticed that I had started putting some of the sticks on on an angle for some reason. So I did have to trim off a couple of small pieces just to be able to fit them in there so I wouldn't have a gap. Then for some of the branches that were a little long and were sticking out, I just took my snips and trimmed them off. I just can't get enough of these little bottle brush trees. And I really love how all three of these buckets turned out. Let me know if you have a favorite. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did and got some inspiration to create some Christmas magic in your home, I'd love for you to like, comment and share my video as well as subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos. Stay tuned for more Christmas videos coming your way soon.